What's up, friends? This is Jazz bringing you another episode of Pokemon Soul Silver. In the last episode, we took care of the first part of the, the Rocket Tower problem. Anyway, I can finally say this is episode 26. Yes. Already 26. Um. What am I gonna do? I mean, I don't know who to. You know what? I think I'm gonna start with Spyro in this battle. We're gonna be having a difficult time, if you will. Because. Well. I don't want to spoil it for you guys. You'll just see in a minute. And I could be wrong for my po Pokemon of choice, but I can always switch. This is probably the longest part of the old damn building. So, you're welcome. What? Oh my god, you? What are you guys? Yes. Yes. Thank you. What? Oh. Yeah. We probably all know what she means. She means Lugia. They're looking for the perfect trainer to look for Lugia. And I've got to admit, that's the one I'm at least looking forward to. Because Paul Home was a little bit more simple. I played the game before, I just couldn't let's play it properly. Oh, we're still gonna have a lot more issues. Oh, yes, Mikey! Hold it! What I told you before was to deceive you. I thought it would let me tell you and it would lead me to the lamps. Well, never, well, if you never showed up, no matter. I was planning to beat you after Lance, but since you are here, I will repay my debts. Yes. And no, this is not the last time we'll see Mikey. Not in the long shot. Uh, I suppose a decent choice? He is part poison? I'd rather not risk the switch. Oh, well, well, if you're going to do just a simple air cutter, which hurt more than I thought, but I'd rather that than get confused. Thank you, bye-bye. And you're probably wondering by now why hasn't he had a crow bat? Why do you think he doesn't? Because he literally sucks as a trainer. Okay, no, no, well... Yes, I put it out. That came out wrong. I mean, a real trainer puts love and effort into training his Pokemon. He only has one of those aspects. And even with the training part, he whips them. I mean, he has, for set, he has the effort. He makes too much. Or he makes his Pokemon put all the effort in. If they're not worth the effort, he doesn't bother. So yeah, there's that's everything wrong right there with him as a trainer right now. I mean, at least his other Pokemon could evolve without evolution. Or without, without friendship. Hello, Haunter! I'll let Link have a chance. See, I gotta put one from Friendship Link. You gotta dare to use them. Oh yeah, cause you, no one would willing to trade with you, would he, Day? But I'm gonna regret saying that later. I'm gonna regret saying the no friendship Pokemon thing later too. Sneasel. Sneasel. That's one of his new Pokemon. Who is a dark and ice. 
Not a bad looking Pokemon, pretty cute actually. I think Sneasel's pretty damn good too. But I still have to go with Umbreon of those two. And yes, I haven't been using much of Umbreon compared to... Or Link compared to Ava, but... Ava just has a lot more type coverage. And I think I am going to keep... You know what, no, I'm going to switch to Zudo Rudo. I can use a rock move and double the damage. You still don't have a magnet! Oh, no wonder. So you didn't put enough effort in the magnemite, did you? It's only a level 28. Oh my god. What have I done? I made fun of them and this is what I get. I'm gonna pray that I can dig. Oh my god. Okay, I gotta give you a little credit. Credit, my team. Made me look like an idiot. But I want Anakinish to have this. At least he did that. Ah, Come on! I'm gonna have to heal. Oh lord, am I gonna have to heal? Please be able to hit him. Ah! Well, you know, I said later that earlier that that move is gonna be that item I got from Mama is gonna be useful. Well, there we are. Who knew a who knew level 28 thing that would give me such a problem? Ooh. Well, of course. I gotta give the AI is pretty intelligent. Ouch. Come on! Oh, thank you! You did it, Anakinish. I'm proud of you. Uh, yeah, I admit that big night was pretty tough. Is what that Lance guy said true? That I don't treat Pokemon properly. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, it is, Mikey. You want them dope, pal? Close enough.
Yeah, there's a puzzle here, and that's one thing I do not do well at. So this episode might be a little longer, but hopefully we will figure out the... Um, crap. Another reason why I probably should have had a bout, but... Uh -huh, I figured so much. Also don't like to minimize at all. Oh well, come on Ava, let's give you a turn. The only downside is that Anakinish is so slow and he can flinch. Oh, well, oh, he's slow anyway. You know, it's sad when it can't even knock out a retard on one hit anymore. Just wasted one, so over my goods. Burglar. Alright, let's take out this cop thing. Second recording of the night. Once you defeat Team Rocket, the best fun of the game comes all the rest of it. I mean, technically, battling the bad guy is the one different thing off, like, from battling trainers and hurting badges, but I enjoy doing that. I'm also going to be introduced to a cave that I actually hated for such a long time. Uh, but you both of you know it's Ice Path. I mean, granted, I don't think it is ba as bad as it once was. But, it's still pretty bad. Especially when you need certain items. Like Waterfall. No, I'm not giving you any mercy. No, I'm not lost. I'm just, um, a wandering kid. Well, I guess that means I'm lost, doesn't it? 
Oh, perfect Pokemon to have out. Let's hope I didn't overuse Lava Bloom. But I still got none left. I'm all good to go. Bye, Gloomy. Oh, another Bloom. My fancies. Now are continuing. Jeez, I bet you I'm gonna dream about Pokemon tonight, this being the last thing that Lightbird would have been. Oh well, still got comedy in me. I think that I have the most ideas when I'm tired. Ironically. When I'm wide awake and I could have ideas, like, when I'm wide awake and I could do things for, like, a super long time, I never seem to do, but, oh. A Pokeball. But yet when I'm tired I get so full of ideas. Then I don't always have the energy. How sad is that? Yeah, that's pretty damn sad. And the sad thing is this part still isn't the end of it. But hopefully I won't I think I might do the longer part because it it would make no sense not to because then I I have to go back and do ice path and the other stuff and I am just being random now. All right, we have level thirty eight, Spyro. Oh, hi, Golbat. Come on, Ava. Go take care of that annoying gold bat now. I sound half assed. So I beat the crap out of him. HP club. Good for you, Ava. Um. Oh, hi, Max Seeker. That is okay, I guess. Oh, damn. That reminds me that I'm not even gonna do a let's play. I'm not even gonna talk much about it, but. I'm playing through the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3DS in my free time. That reminds me of that those guards that guard Hyrule Castle, Princess Zelda's castle. And they're literally just walking around and then they'll turn the other way and Oh Lord. Yeah. It's annoying, especially when you're throwing back out. At least here all you have to do is battle them and then okay go on your merry way. In that game, la 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 and you're hot! I mean that, those guards are damn annoying. Why can't they be more like rocket grunts? Have a good fight, lose, and then just let the player go on the merry way. Oh, you're that yuck, yuck, yuck guy. May I leave now? Oh. Of course there'd be another one. We have many more battles to go. Hi, Hopping. Hey, say hello to my little friend. Lava Bloom.
I mean, the last part, like, we have a few more battles, but the last part is really not that hard. Trust me, compared to... I was said I was playing through The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, and compared to the dungeons and some of those quests, this is, like, easy. But still, I remember when I first played... Oh, Sleep Talk. You know what? That's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> sleep talking. Yeah, it's being taken over by Team Rocket. Thank you, I can get in and save your people now. Get some of the free items. Oh, hi, um, Amlet Coy. Whoa. Aww. Oh, well. Yeah, it's gonna be a super long episode. But, who cares? I just wanna get this part done so we can get to our actual real journey. Oh well, this is worth it. We can use the car key to get up. Hi, what are you saying? I'm gonna have to use some Max Elixir or something. Bye, what are you saying? Oh no, I'm not kidding. It's actually not that hard to defeat you. Get one love of room and it's gone. Oh wait. I probably should use this on my... Eva. That way, your side beam is all better. I'm gonna have another annoying battle against a rocket, maybe an admin grunt. Uh, yeah, I did it. And I'm surprised, frankly, that that the director actually had the basement key. Because you would think that Team Rocket would think of that and take it from him. I mean, if I were an admin of Team Rocket, that's what I would do. But no allowing him to keep it, oh, in case someone comes to his rescue. I mean, were they that cocky thinking that no one would rescue him or miss him at all? I mean, I personally didn't miss him, but I had no choice but to do what I did. I mean, he's an old man. What is there to miss? 
He just runs a radio station. Sure, that's not too important. Oh, hello! Someone I never saw near the first of the game and wanted to cut slow poke Yeah, yeah, that's the last thing I wanted to do. Only thing I want to do, Cronin. My main goal in life is to make you mad. Nothing else is on my mind right now than seeing steam come from your ears. And I'm sure this that's your same goal. Cause that was not expected. Well, that kinda was. I admit, you got you got good there, Frodon. Um just just have stupid luck. I mean, again, a level 28 defeating me. Well, thank you, finally. Level 39 now, sweet. And we have a weaver. I didn't really chase you there, Frodon, but if you insist, yes, I followed your every step, I... Ah, uh, how do I even work this joke? I'm a little girl, are you sure that you're not the one who chased me? I'm a ten-year-old child. That is what I am there, Frodon. Actually, I'm not physically 10, but the trainer is. Well, it was a while since we got this call. Hi, Mom! Well, that was sure worth picking up. Let's see, I think I need to heal up my Pokemon. Alright, let's uh, go use the Hyper Potion. There we are. We still have a few more trainers. Four to be exact, so this is going to be a long video. I don't, maybe not four. Yeah, maybe four. Oh no, I don't think you rebattle them, so this, we have two more trainers. Ariana, or Mikey's mom? Okay, I know I keep making that joke, but she has the hair color of them. And they suspect that Giovanni is his father. And she's part of Team Rocket, he was part of Team Rocket, the guy's 10 years old. Who said he didn't have a son before, like, the store of blue and red and yellow? Ugh. Of course, of course! Number Pro. Yeah, is that the one that helped me out last time? Some people like myself at one point thought that the hardest rocket base was this one. But to be fair, I really think it's the Mahogany Town 
hideout that has been, like, the worst. Because really, this really is, yes you go through three different particular things, but they're all easy enough. The hardest thing would probably be the puzzle underground, for those who don't understand it. To be fair, I'm shocked I got, I, like, I'm shocked I figured it out as quickly as I did. I was more waiting just to stand there annoyed all day. I'm, uh, taking care of you like I should. And no, I'm already out of it enough as it- Oh, come on. I'm already out enough as it is, I don't need a shot of that. Bye bye, Malcolm. I'm gonna switch out a Pokemon. For one, she hasn't been used yet in this area. Two, she will be the most useful up here. Oh, come on. We're going to our final boss here. A Team Rocket. Last time we'll see him for a little while, and the good news is the next time we see them, it's not even gonna be as serious. A super serious reason. Oh, you managed to get this far. You must be quite the trainer. We intend to take over this radio tower and officially announce our comeback. That should bring our boss Giovanni back from his solitary training. We are going to regain our former glory. I will not allow you to interfere with our meticulous plans. Now, to be fair, Team Rocket, you should be quite badass. I mean, yes, he, they've done a few bad things, like, here or there, in this game. Like, they, the I'm trying to think of how to explain it. They caused, they caused Sonic Waves to evolve Magikarp in the Lake of Rage which was probably the worst thing they did. Well, they also cut off Slowpoke's tail to sell, so I suppose that may have been the most malicious thing they did. But then they took over Radio Tower. That's probably the least harmful thing they did, where in Blue, Yellow, Red, and the sequels, they killed a Marowak, it made the ghost there, they held a man hostage for his money. Well yes, they may held a man hostage in this particular event here. So, but he really wasn't that hostage he was able to keep his possessions. I mean, he probably could have walked out there out the door almost any time he wanted. In reality. I mean, that's just my opinion. I mean, the man was literally held against hostage at Silk Code. I mean, they ran a game corner too. They gambled. So I'm sorry, but I still kind of have to give the Former Team Rocket, a little bit more glory. Sorry, Archer. But you don't quite stand Giovanni's standards. You haven't been met that by a little kid, but... Yeah, I don't think he'll ever forgive you. Oh, hello there, Radio President. Yeah, 
think there used to be another thing. Oh yeah, that was in gold and silver and stuff. Yeah, I was kind of expecting a big call out. Not. I know this time it's not so fake. I believe there's some items here you can get. Not here, but. Around the next few floors. Whatever this is, I think it's hail. Oh wait, no, it's a sunny day. Whoops, the opposite of hail. Oh wait. No. Okay, yeah, now we can play Joanna's password. Well, I guess not. Let's see what Mama gave us. Everything's done now in this area. We're gonna have to go to Hogby Town again soon just to get. Strawberries. Alright, let's see what Shaka berries are. Wait, I think we already got them to the ground type, so. We go in this episode of now. Next episode, we're headed back to the Hogley Town to head to the next dude and go to Ice Path. I will see you guys in the next. If you enjoyed this episode, give it a big thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!